Hey guys, I have shown my six hour P365 and dozens of videos. I think I've carried this gun for probably the last four or five years. Um, and then just so many months ago, I bought a Shield Plus kind of just to have as a backup, um, just in case there would ever be any type of like failures of this and I'd have to send it back for a warranty or anything. I wanted to have something small and compact with similar capacity. And I don't anticipate there being any problems or issues with this gun, but it doesn't hurt to have a backup plan. So I already have those two guns that are very similar in that they're micro 9mm with 10 round magazines. But as luck would have it, I entered a raffle at a local gun store and ended up winning this Glock 43X. So Glock has actually been around since the early 60s. So, you know, 60 plus years. It was in the early 80s that they developed the uh, Glock 17. And it was probably in the early 90s that they started becoming pretty popular in the U.S. But the Glock 43X, which we'll be looking at today, it was introduced in 2019. And since that time, so the last four to five years, this has more sales than any other gun in the world. So this little pistol is very popular right now for a lot of really good reasons. But I figure we'll do a real quick unboxing of it. I'll show you everything that comes in the box when you buy one new. Um, we'll go over all the features and specifications and uh, show you guys how to field strip it. And I'll give you guys some thoughts on it. So first off, Glock does include their hard plastic case. It's got some warning stuff on the back of it here. And I'll pop this open and we'll see what we get here. So you're going to get two magazines, one in the gun, one here, and then a speed loader that is branded and it's kind of texturized. You're going to get a lock, get a cleaning brush, it's a nylon one, and then also a cleaning rod. So you can attach that to that to clean your barrel. You can also put patches through there. You're going to get the pistol itself. We'll go over it in detail, obviously. And you're going to get some information like warranty information, owner's manual, that type of stuff is in here. And just so YouTube knows, while I'm showing this gun, there's no ammo anywhere around. The gun is empty and safe. So for those of you that don't know, the Glock 43X is a nine millimeter. It is a very, very thin or slim line nine millimeter. It's a single stack. And to give you a comparison, you can basically take a finger and it would cover up the entire width of the gun. And even though it's so thin and so small, it has a capacity of 10 rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber so you can carry 11 rounds of nine millimeter with you. So I don't know exactly when the 43 was introduced. Uh, let's just say 2015, 16, I, I don't know exactly when it was, but it was out for a few years and it only had a six round capacity and the grip was really short on it. And in a small nine millimeter, the, the grip makes a huge difference on your recoil and how snappy the gun is. And a lot of people could only get two fingers and then the pinky would almost slide off of the 43. And therefore you didn't have, you know, the greatest control with it. So in 2019, Glock introduced the 43 X and the 48. Um, and what they've done is they've taken kind of the grip length of the Glock 19 with the slide length of the 43 and combine them into one gun. And the 48 is essentially the same gun as this, just with a longer slide. But as you can see now, I have extra large hands and I can fit all three fingers on there. And this is a Gen 5 uh, 43X, which is the newest version. Um, you can tell because it has the front serrations here, the ones in the past, it was just flat up through here. But a few other features is it does have this built in beaver tail kind of helps prevent slide bite as the slide comes back between the rounds. This protects your hand right there. 
These do come with the uh, Glock Marksmanship Barrel, which is supposed to be a match grade barrel. It's supposed to improve accuracy. I don't know if it really does, but they do include that. And these have a reversible magazine release. You can take this out and put it on this side if you want. It does not have a reversible slide catch or slide release though. It's only on the left side. Some of the other models like the 19 and 17, you can flip that around, but on the 43X, you can't. Give you guys some quick dimensions on it. The overall length is right at like six and a half inches. The height with the magazine in it is just over five inches. You have to go from like the sights. So yeah, just over five inches. And the overall width, probably at that control right there, is 1.1 inches. And the barrel is 3.41 inches. And the weight, unloaded, but with the magazine in it, 18.6 ounces. So my model just came with the polymer Glock sights um, and that sight radius distance is 5.24 inches. Uh, they do make steel sights as well. And then they also make night sights. They also have a version of this 43X. That's an MOS version, which is optic ready. So it has a cutout right here in your plate. My version does not have a so the grip on the 43X and pretty much the entire lower is all polymer. The magazine release is polymer. There is a little bit of stippling on all four sides uh, just to give you a little more bite or something to grab onto. And this version does not have any type of Picatinny rail or any rail at all for that matter. Um, I believe that the MOS version does, but even this version here, you can still get uh, lights and lasers and everything that just attach onto the trigger guard. As far as safeties go, um, there are some internal safeties and uh, it's drop tested. Um, and then there's also a trigger safety. You can see a little blade right there. So I'll show you this again. We are clear. So if you have your finger here or something gets caught there, the gun will not fire at all until that little piece right there is depressed. Once it comes down in contact kind of with the rest of the trigger, then you can fire it. And it's probably hard to see, but that area right there, when you hit this, that's kind of what allows for the trigger to come back. Show you the trigger reset. Kind of long, not horrible though. Glock is kind of known for not having the greatest trigger in the world. Uh, so there is a, a little bit of a gritty feel as you go through it. A lot of guys will swap that trigger out. I mean, it, it works fine. So to break it down for cleaning, you want to have the magazine out. Double, triple check to make sure there's no round in the chamber. You're going to point the gun in a safe direction, squeeze that trigger. And then there's these little takedown levers or tabs. You have to pull the gun back a little bit, like a quarter inch or eighth of an inch. And then that releases the tension off of this. Then you pull those down and then the slide just comes right off of it. And then you can take, you know, and clean this up with the brush and some spray and stuff. But I really just kind of want to show you guys this again, it's brand new. So that's still like the Glock grease, um, all that stuff's in there. And then this is your, guide rod and recoil spring. You're going to pull that out. And then this is that marksman barrel. There's the rifling in it. And again, I think that was what 3.41 inches long. And for most of us, that's all we really need to do. Maybe after four or 5,000 rounds or so, you could take the striker assembly out of this thing. You remove this plate here and slide this out, but most of us don't ever get to that many rounds. Uh, so yeah, this is generally all you need to do to field strip it. And when you're done cleaning, it's just the reverse. Put your barrel back in. Your guide rod assembly. There are a couple of tabs there. Make sure that you get it all the way sit down in the second tab. 
And then also always try to make sure this is lined up center. So if you're off like this, um, you could definitely get like the slide stuck on the lower when you try to put it back on there. So always keep that like in the middle. And when you go to slide it back on, if for whatever reason it's not sliding on, um, or if you get resistance, just basically pull it back off until it feels like it goes on right. And then it'll bring those tabs back up and it locks back in place. But you can literally disassemble and reassemble these things in seconds without any type of tools at all. So this is obviously not a full on review because I haven't even shot this gun yet. Um, but I have some holsters coming for it that I'll show you guys. And at some point, I think I'm going to do a video just kind of comparing the three together here. Um, they're all 10 round uh, capacity. They're all kind of like micro nines or subcompact nines. Um, and just kind of give you the differences and my opinion on those. You know, my opinion right now is that you can't go wrong with any of the three though. Uh, this 43X is small, lightweight, easily concealable, good capacity. Uh, they make the shield arms 15 round magazines, which are no difference in size than the Glock 43X standard magazine. But instead of it giving you 10 rounds, it gives you 15 in the exact same size. Uh, you do have to swap out your magazine release if you want to run those uh, because this is a plastic magazine and the shield one is a metal one and it basically wears us down inside. Uh, but still, you, you could have basically 16 rounds in this small size. That's pretty incredible. And I might pick some of those magazines up. And if I do, I'll show you guys how to swap out that magazine release and uh, put a video out on that. But yeah, I just want to introduce you guys to my new 43X and give you some of the details on it. So if you guys found this video helpful or informative in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.